Hi guys, welcome to Vitish. In this session, we are going to discuss microprocessor based over current relay. So here, from CT, two CTs we have taken, CT1, CT2. So from there, have converting I to V converter and here also I to V converter. So this V is given to a rectifier in both the cases. And from here, we are getting IDC S1, IDC S2 and IDC. So this we are giving to a multiplexer. So from this, I am connecting to a A to D converter and which is port A, E by C, S by C, upper port C and from this port C lower, we are again giving to the multiplexer and this port B will give to the trip signal to circuit breaker. So this entire part is become is the microprocessor which is IC8085. So let us discuss. Current is taken from CT and given to I2V converter because many elect electronic circuit requires voltage signal for operations. So the AC voltage is converted into DC voltage by using rectifier. So this DC voltage is proportional to the load current only. The output of current rectifier is given to a multiplexer. The multiplexer gives output A to D converter where analog DC voltage is converted to digital form that is from 0, uh, 0 and 1 that is binary form. Microprocessor understands only codes 0 and 1 in form. So HP microprocessor gives S by C start of conversion signal to A to D converter that is analog to digital conversion is started and HP gives permission to A to D converter for this by sending S by C. So when converting from analog to digital is over then A to D converter sends E by C signals to the HP which is end of conversion. So when work of AD is over then up compare with magnitude of the incoming current with the required current value that is set value or reference value. So coming to block diagram approach of numerical relays. So from here we have taken a multiplexer. To this multiplexer we have given the input like sources. So the output of multiplexer is connected to anti-aliasing filter from then S2H and this is connected to a data processing unit. From here, output, output of data processing unit is connected to the measuring element, which is measurement and protective algorithm. So this protective algorithm is nothing but microprocessor braced. So the output of this protective algorithm is, is given to the trip signal. So coming to numerical relays, what is a numerical relay? It is based on digital devices, example microprocessor, microcontrollers, digital signal processor, etc. So the numerical relay is a type of relay that acquires the value of measuring quantities in digital form, analyze and process it, checks the system for fault and makes trip decisions. So the design and operation of both the electromechanical and static relay are different from these two type of relays. So the numerical relay monitors the analog signals, current and voltage through an current transformer and voltage transformer. So these signals are slammed and conditioned in at a particular instance of time and then converted into a numeric form for displaying and recording. So how does a current transformer make it possible to measure high voltage current? So then a DAS means data acquisition system acquires a sample of AC quantities in digital form and process a data numerically using algorithm to calculate fault and a trip decision. So if there is a fault in the protective zone, the trip signal is issued to the circuit breaker. So how does a numerical relay can work. At the power system, current and voltage levels are so high. Therefore, the current and voltage levels are reduced by the current and voltage transformers. So the outputs of CT and VT are served to the signal conditioner. Signal condition is a crucial part of DAS. In the signal conditioner, the auxiliary transformer isolates the relay from the power system and reduces the level of signals to make them suitable for the use of in the relay. So the I by V converter converts current signals to proportional voltage signals to make them accessible to the A to D converter because the A to D converter only accepts only voltage signals. So the low pass filter or anti-aliasing filter prevents the aliasing of the signals. The outputs of the signals conditioner are applied to the analog interference. So the analog interference samples reduce level signals and convert the analog levels to equivalent numbers that are stored in memory. So then a relaying algorithm proceeds the discrete numbers. So the quantities are compared with the predetermined setting to decide whether the power system is exploitizing faults or not. If there is any fault in the power system, the relay 
sends a trip signal to the circuit breaker for isolating the fault edge zone from the power system. So, data acquisition system, a data acquisition system or in short DAS is a system that performs data acquisitions. So, data acquisition is the process of sampling and conversion of analog quantities into digital numerical values that can be manipulated. For the numerical relay, the DAS requires samples of AC quantities and converts them into a digital values for further processing. Below are the few components of data acquisition systems, signal conditioner. So, DAS hardware sometimes has a hard time regarding analog signals. So, the analog signals must be conditioned to make them compactable. So, the signal conditioner converts along input signals into a form that can be converted into a digital numerical values. This makes a signal conditioner an important component of the data acquisition system and numerical relay. So, coming to aliasing, it is a mechanism of signals where components of high frequency signal appear to the component of lower frequency signal is known as aliasing. So, this creates a problem in conversion of analog signals to a sequence of numbers because it requires a sampling rate that should be selected in such a way that higher frequency components appear as components of interest. So, to tackle this problem, the analog signals are applied to a low pass filter that removes the most of the high frequency components and then their output is further processed. So, coming to next one, sampling. Sampling is the process of converting a continuous a time signal into the discrete time signals. So, next one analog interference. So, the analog interference makes the output signal of a signal conditioner compatible for processing. The output of the signal condition is applied to the analog interference which reduces the level of signal and converts their analog levels to equivalent numbers that are stored in memory for processing. So, the analog interference consists of a few components which are sample and whole circuit analog to digital converter and analog multiplexer. So, coming to there are different types of numerical relays are there overcurrent earth fault relay which is overcurrent relay operates when the current in any circuit exceeds a certain predetermined value. Next one differential relay. So, this relay is used based on current comparison. It trips when the phase difference of two or more identical electrical quantities exceeds the specified value. So, this is how we will connect the differential relay. This is the power transformer. So, primary side will connect one CT, secondary side CT2. So, from both the sides current will enter. So, between these two CTs we will connect a differential relay. So, coming to directional relay, this relay trips when the fault drives power to flow in opposite to specified direction. Coming to next one, under or over voltage relay. So, this relay trips when the voltage in an electrical network drop below or rise above a predetermined value. So, coming to next distance relay, this relay measures the impedance or some components of the line impedances or independence at the relay location. So, based on characteristics, these classifieds based on their tripping uh, property which are no voltage, voltage applied. So, here two cases are possible when no voltage is applied to the transformer. So, this NC is connected to common point when voltage is applied. So, this and no is common connected to a common point. So, coming to next instantaneous relay activate the tripping immediately after the occurrence of fault there will be a no time delay definite time relay activated only the fault remains until a specific time. So, coming to inverse time relay with the definite minimum time these relays are mostly used in transmission lines if the line current exceeds the safe value circuit breaker gets triggered. So, voltage resistance over current relay. The relay is activated only if both the under voltage and over current conditions occur at the same time. So, based on actuating parameters current relays, voltage relays, frequency relays, power relays etc. So, based on applications primary relays, backup relay which is if the production of system fails the whole network might get collapsed. So, they use the backup relay doing this will help us protect the system even if the primary relays goes faulty. So, why do we need a numerical relay protection? The tremendous growth in size and complexities of a structure of the modern day power system requires a fast, accurate and very reliable protection scheme against the faults. So, to protect major equipment and provide uh, stability to the power system, a reliable, fast, multifunctional numerical protection scheme is used that consists of a numerical relay. So, the conventional relays which is electromechanical and static relay are good in their place these type of relays have no significant drawbacks in their protective systems or functions. But the additional features that are provided by the numerical type relays 
or what make them effective for the power industry. So let us see the advantage and disadvantage of this digital relay. Coming to advantages, it is compact and flexibility. This relay is programmable. It can it permits flexibility as compared to the electromechanical relay. So next one is multiple functions. One of the biggest advantage of this relay is it can perform various functions that includes adaptive logic, self-testing, communication with other relays, etc. Next one is reliable in operations. Coming to economical, numerical relays performs many functions at low cost compared to its other counterparts like electromechanical and static relays. So coming to disadvantages, digital relay hasn't achieved perfection yet, so they have also suffered from a few disadvantages. Its disadvantages are following. One is short life cycle. Rapid changes in microprocessor increases functionality but makes the previous generation numerical system out of the day. So coming to next one, difficult to test and set. This type of relay can perform many functions. Therefore, it has countless settings and the relay is tested by using special testing techniques. So a proper procedure is a must follow to ensure appropriate ratings. Coming to last one, susceptible to transients. So numerical based relay uses microprocessors. Therefore, they are more susceptible to incorrect operation due to transients. So this is about numerical relays. So with this, I am concluding this topic. Thank you.